chain reactions. Then go! Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. My turn. Go number train. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's your turn, Bill. Sphere, cylinder, cube, cone, pyramid, Guys, I need your help. Bubble the robot is stuck in a basketball hoop. No problem, Alex. Let's go help Bubble. Bubble, we're going to help you. Look, we've made this large chain reaction set to help get Bubble out of the basketball hoop. We will use colors, shapes, and numbers to help Bubble. Okay, Alex, release the sphere. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Go boat. Red, orange, Yellow, green, blue, purple. And now we have falling dominoes of different colors. I see red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple dominoes.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go number train! The cars are now going around 3D shapes. They are going through different paint colors. And now the balloons are carrying the ball up into the air. Get ready, Bubble. You are almost out. Bubble, you're safe now. Thank you for helping us. It's great to have friends like you. Toby the garbage truck. Okay, race cars, line up. Today I'm going to show you what you'll do during your race. First, you'll go really fast. You'll go around loops and jump over ramps. Bill, show them how it's done. No problem. Pay attention, cars. Hi, guys. We're here to watch the race. Good morning, everyone. Hi. We're so glad you came to watch the race. By the way, meet our new friend. Hello, it's very nice to meet you. My name is Toby, and I am a garbage truck. Let's continue. After the land race, you'll race over the lake. Then the boat will be in charge. Activate your boat mode. you will race in the sky. Alex the helicopter will help you. Activate your wings. The 
final race will be underwater. Kai, the submarine, will be in charge. Enable your submarine mode. was a great race. Time to clean up after ourselves. That's my favorite part. This was a great race. What was your favorite part, Bill? I liked when the cars raced on water. And what was yours, Toby? 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 Where are you? Toby? I'm here. What happened, Toby? Oh, no. <coughs> this is what happens when you don't clean after yourself and when you dump trash anywhere. Okay, guys, I'm calling back up. Let's help Toby clean up this pond. George, thanks for coming out to help us. 
You are welcome. Finished. Let's come back later to see if the pond looks cleaner and the grass is greener. Thanks for helping us. Remember, we have only one planet Earth. We must take care of it. Read with us. It's here. Wow, the word machine is finally here. Today, we will learn animal words. Dogs are my favorite animal. Let's read. D, O, G, dog. Now you read. Dog, that's right. This is so cool. Now it's my turn. Ducks are my favorite animals. D U C K. Duck. Now you read. Duck. though. You can continue reading and creating toys. My turn. I like frogs. F R O G. Frog. Now you read. Frog. That's right. Instead of one. 
Now it's my turn to read. Bears are my favorite animals. B E A R. Bear. Now you read. Bear. Wow, the machine made five bears. Let's help Bubble create a toy. Rabbits are Bubble's favorite animals. R A B B I T Rabbit. Now you read. Rabbit. This machine is working properly. Uh, this is so fun! I want to make another toy! I also like elephants. Let's read the word elephant. E L E P H A N T Elephant. Now you read Elephant. Wow, that's a lot of elephants. Maybe we should take a break. I don't think the machine is working properly. Let's read one more word and make one more toy. Okay, one more. How about a turtle? T U R T L E Turtle. Now you read. Turtle. Thank you for reading with us. Let's pretend. Sorry I'm late. Here it is. What is it? Remember when we talked about how imagination can help you dream up new inventions, things, and places? With imagination, you can pretend that the ceiling is full of clouds and you fly through them, or that this floor is lava and you have to walk very carefully. Well, this holographic device can create any object or any place you imagine. We call it plate. How does it work, J5? Just say what you want to create or where you want to be, and then walk through this holographic sphere. When you are ready to deactivate the hologram, just walk through the sphere again. I want to create a tree. Wow! This is amazing!
This is so cool! Let's pretend it's windy. And we are in the field of flowers! Turn. Let's pretend we're near the railroad and a big steam train is passing by. Pretend we're underwater. Device, the harder it'll be for you to catch it in order to turn it off. Don't use it after it turns red, or it'll start creating holographic worlds on its own. I have to go now, but have fun and keep imagining and creating things and places! Wait, I want to create things too! Guys, meet my friend Cube7000 the robot! We just call him Cube. Okay, have fun! Cube, it's your turn! I always wanted to stay on ice. Let's pretend we're inside a giant ice igloo. Pretend we're in the sky and have clouds around us.
Let's pretend this floor is lava. This is amazing! on the moon! I cannot fly on the moon because there is no air. Gravity on the moon is much weaker. That's why I can make long jumps. turned yellow. It's okay, Max. They are not red, so we can still imagine places. This is so much fun. Let's pretend we're on a roller coaster.
My turn! We're on the island and there's a pirate ship full of treasure! Wow! So much treasure! Well, I guess we are done. The lights are red. And now we're on a mine train, going through a dark mine. Cube, wait! Don't activate it!
You did it, Cube. Great job. We all did it. You see, imagination is a powerful tool. What you make out of it is up to you. Oops, I accidentally turned the plate back on. Physics. Hello, friends, and welcome to our lab. Here we study physics. What is physics, you may ask? Physics is the study of matter and how it interacts with energy and force. At this lab, we study gravity, magnets, light, heat and energy, buoyancy, friction, simple machines, and much more. Wow, this is great! We're excited to see how all of this works. By the way, meet our new robot friend, C9. We call him Clam. When he gets scared, he closes like a clamshell. Can you please show him some of the physics activities you do here? Of course! You and Clam can watch me do some physics experiments. Unfortunately, our chain reaction machine is not finished yet. So I'll show you using these small test activities. Don't worry, Clam. This metal sphere fell because of a force called gravity. Gravity is what pulls everything toward the ground. Without gravity, there wouldn't be life on Earth. Everything would fly up to space. Gravity is the reason a ball comes back down when you throw it into the air, instead of just traveling higher and higher. Next, let's look at magnets. A magnet is a rock or a piece of metal that can pull certain types of metal toward itself. Magnets can't pull things like paper, plastic, glass, or cloth, only things that are made of iron or that contain iron. Clam got attached to a magnet. It's because Clam is made out of metal. And Bubble didn't get attached because he is made out of plastic. Here, we also study about light. Light is a form of energy made of photons. Depending on the type of matter it comes into contact with, light will behave differently. Light can pass through transparent objects such as glass or water. Opaque objects block light, like this wooden wall. Translucent objects allow some light to travel through them. If light gets blocked by an opaque object, it creates a shadow. Come on, Clam. The chain reaction machine is not working yet. Here, we also study about heat and energy. Heat is the transfer of energy from one object to another because of a difference in temperature. Matter can change state based on heat or temperature. For example, if water is cold and its molecules are moving very slowly, it will be in a solid state we all know as ice. If it warms up, the ice will melt and water becomes a liquid. If you heat water even more, it will turn into a gas called steam. And it's not just water. This solid piece of metal turns into a liquid state when we give it a lot of heat. Speaking of liquids, let's take a look at buoyancy. In physics, buoyancy is the force of an object that makes the object rise or move upward. Why do some objects sink and some float? Objects that float are less dense than the water they pushed aside. Being a heavy object doesn't mean it will always sink. Look, I have an apple and a metal nail. The apple is heavier than the nail. Let's see which one will sink and which one will float. The apple floats because it has a greater volume of air than the nail, even though it is heavier. We have two more stations left. Now let's look at friction. Friction is the resistance of motion when one object rubs against another. Different types of surfaces create different amounts of friction. Now let's test it ourselves. Accelerate and try to stop really fast on this concrete surface. Wow, the concrete surface helps me stop very quickly. Now try on ice. Oh, 
Uh-oh! Slippery! Ice has very low friction. It takes me so much longer to stop. And the last station is Simple Machines. Simple Machines are basic mechanical devices for applying a force and doing work. They include the lever, the wheel and axle. For instance, using wheels and axles, we can create a wagon that can help us move a heavy load. Holy. Inclined plane. Wedge. And screw. Where did Clam go? Clam? Clam? Where are you? Oh no! Clam is inside the chain reaction machine and he's activated it. We have to help him. Activated. Let's use physics to help Clam. Activated. are falling because of gravity. Look, the metal balls are attracted to the magnet and the glass balls are not. shadows created by the chain reaction objects. Now Clam is going through tunnels made out of different materials. The first tunnel is opaque and it doesn't let light through. The second tunnel is made out of translucent material. Some light gets absorbed and some goes through. The third tunnel is made out of clear glass. All the light travels through the tunnel walls. Clam sank because he is much denser than water. On the other hand, the plastic spheres are floating because of low density. The magnet picked up Clam and is carrying him over hot water. It is so hot, it turns to steam. Be careful, Clam. Never touch hot water. This is the final part of the chain reaction. Simple machines.
You did it, Clam! Thanks for learning with us! Animal Rescue Come on, Bill! Pull! Pull! I can't, Max. Poor turtle! We have to do something to help it! Guys, guys! I've just gotten a message from Robo J5. She said she can help us. Unfortunately, she is about 10 miles away. She told me we can get there by taking this small old mine train. No time to wait! All aboard! What is this meter? Oh yes, I almost forgot. Robo J5 said it's called a good deeds meter. The more good things you do, the more the arrow moves to the right. Wow! I saw the arrow move because we are helping the turtle. I hope we can do more good things on the way to see Robo J5. Look guys, someone left trash and it's caught on fire. I can't believe someone just left the trash in the forest. Look what almost happened. I know, and it caught on fire. That's why you should always pick up your trash. now. All aboard! I think it's lost. Let's move slowly so it can follow us. Thank <laughs> you. 
I hear baby birds. I think they need our help. Oh no! The nest fell off the tree! No problem. I think I can help them. Great job! We did a good deed. Let's continue. I see a fox that can't cross the bridge. The bridge is broken. Help me push this wooden plank so the fox can cross. Push. Push, push. Great job. There's a squirrel right under the tree that's about to fall. Max, go, go, go! Help the squirrel! Watch out! The tree branches are falling! Yes, we've saved the squirrel! Turtle, let me help you. Finally, thank you, J5. You're welcome. Thank you for helping us. Look at the good deeds meter arrow. You did so many good things that it points all the way to the right. Thank you. Remember, the more good things you do for others, the more good things will come to you. Learn letters. Hi, I am Max the Globe Train. When it is dark, 
You can see me glow! Look! Today, we are going to learn the alphabet. Let's go find the letters and take them to the zoo on top of that playground ship. to the zoo. Hi, Max. Sounds great. I am landing the airplane. A is for airplane. The letters B and C are fixing the bridge. Hi, Max. I am B and I operate the bulldozer. Go to the zoo. I am almost done. The bridge is complete. is for bulldozer. C is for crane. Hi D, do you want to go with us? Sure, let me get my dog. D is for dog.
E is for excavator. Going to the zoo. Do you want to go too? Just one second. Let me help the shapes. Okay, shapes. Circle, oval, triangle, square, rectangle, octagon. is for fire truck. Wait for me. I want to go to the zoo too. Hi G. Let me dump this garbage and we will go. G is for garbage truck. Now, which way should we go? Left or right? I can help you, Max. to go right. Thank you, H. Let's go to the zoo. H is for helicopter. Want ice cream? I have yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green. And who wants jam? Hi, I. Hi, Jay. I want both ice cream and jam. Thank you, I. And thank you, Jay. I is for ice cream, and J is for jam.
Hi, letters! Hi, Hi, Max! Let's load the fruits and go to the zoo! K is for kiwi, L is for lemon, M is for mango, N is for nectarine, O is for orange. This car pulled over the letter Q for going too fast. I'm sorry, P. I won't be going so fast anymore. I was late delivering the quilts. Please slow down next time. We are going to the zoo. Can you go with us? Yes, Max. P is for police car. And Q is for quilt. Looks like the letter R is fixing the road. Are, do you want to go with us? Hi, Max. I'm ready to go. R is for Road Roller. Hi, S. Are you going to the zoo? Sure. Let me finish sweeping. Oh, no. My sweeper broke down. Help you, S. I drive a tow truck. Thank you, T.
S is for sweeper and T is for tow truck. Hi, Max. Let me see. Way. U is for umbrella. Look, the letter V is in the van pulling the letter W in the wagon. Hi, W. Let's go to the zoo. Thank you, Max. V is for van. And W is for wagon. Nice music. Let's go to the zoo. Thank you, Max. X is for xylophone. Go to the zoo. Y is for yacht. Hi, Z. Hi, Max. We are finally here and ready to see the animals in your zoo. Okay, Max. Let me show them to you. Here we have bear, cow, duck, elephant, hedgehog, mouse, pig, giraffe, zebra. We found all the letters. Z is for zebra. Run, it's a tiger. Uh-oh. Thank you for telling us, C. It is getting late. 
Let's repeat the letters one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. See you next time! Thank you.